All right, we are going to talk about polar coordinates. Okay, it's not your normal xy coordinates. These are polar coordinates. Let's see. Okay, so definitions you need to know. The origin is a fixed point zero called pole, and that's exactly what you know as the origin. It's right in the center. Okay, <clears throat> a polar coordinate has a radius and an angle. Okay, the radius basically counts circles. So this would, if it sits on this circle, it's like concentric circles. Okay, I know I cannot draw. We know this. So radius of one would be on that first circle. Radius of two would be on the second. Radius of three on the third. So on and so forth. And how you know what quadrant it's in ba is based on the angle theta. This goes back to your unit circle angles. Or, yeah, unit circle angles. Where's pi over 3? Where's 5 pi over 3? You need to know what quadrant that falls in to draw that angle. Okay, so the radius is the distance from the pole. Theta is the angle from the pole in the radian. So that's going to go back to your unit circle days. All right, let's try one of these. <clears throat> Example 1, the direction say to graph the coordinate. All right, let's just do that first. All right, so the radius is a 3, theta is my angle at pi over 3. So if I graph this, okay, and then where is pi over 3? Well, we know pi over 3 is about right here. This is pi over 2, remember? So pi over 3 is over here, about right there. So I would draw my coordinate like this, okay, pi over 3. All right, so that's the first step, graph the coordinate. Give two additional names for the same coordinate. All right, so here's my coordinate. Sorry, that's a three. Two ways to do this, to find a new name. First thing I would do is to add two pi to theta. And what that's gonna do is just rotate this thing around the circle one time, and it's just another name for the same angle. So I've got to add two pi to pi over three. Well, common denominators of 3 is going to make that 6 pi over 3 plus pi over 3. So that means that angle is going to be 7 pi over 3. So another name for the same angle could be 3, 7 pi over 3. And then the second way to do this is to change the sine of r. So when you change the sine of r, you're, it's obviously negative. And when you would graph a negative, you would, instead of going up into that quadrant or down into that given quadrant directly to that angle, you would go the opposite direction. Okay, so to, to give me a new name, I would do negative 3, but if I change this to a negative, I have to take the original angle and not add a whole, not add two pi's to it, but add one pi because it's really just re rotating at 180 degrees, which is the same as 3 pi over 3, which makes this 4 pi over 3. So I have three solutions to this problem. Two name, two coordinates for the same coordinate, and, and, and a graph. Okay. Let's try another one. Two and pi over six. Okay, if I graph this, where's pi over six? Pi over three, pi over four, pi over six is about down here, right? So I need to go two radii, radii out, so I'm going to draw two circles, and there's my point. Okay. Now to get a new coordinate, I'm going to take 2 pi over 6, and then I need to take that pi over 6 and add 2 pi. Common denominator is going to make that 12 pi over 2 over 6, I'm sorry. So another name would be 2 and 13 pi over 6. And then the rule says to change the sine of r, and then take your angle and add a whole pi. Make it a common denominator. So that's a 7 pi over 6. So there's my two renamed angles. Okay. And my graph. For class, I want you to try one. Okay. Graph the coordinate, give two additional names for the same coordinate.